Welcome to Funky Junk Inspiration. I'm Christy, and I would love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. Also, remember to like, comment, and share. Today I'm presenting with the Twisted Sister, a Halloween spooktacular. It's Booty Call, hosted by The Secret Craft Room, Van Over Designs, Shabby Meets Bling, and Up All Night DIY plus a whole list of other creators that are part of the playlist. Make sure you go check everybody out and subscribe to their channels. And make sure you let them know Funky Junk Inspiration sent you over there. Hi, you guys. Let's get started here. This is a broom right here that I just cut out with my jigsaw. It's not perfect. It's got some imperfections on it, but I think it'll work for what we're doing. Um, I'm going to take this essential stencil. This is a stencil from last year. I am an affiliate for Essential Stencil. If you use the code FUNKYJUNK, all one word, at checkout, you can save some money. So um, I will put that in the description for you so that you can remember that. Um, but then we're going to put this hat on here, okay? And then I'm going to put the word coffee down here, and it's going to kind of come off on the thing, on the... Um, the bristles of the broom, but I think that's going to be okay. And then we're going to put Wicked up here, okay? So everything's going to kind of overlap a little bit. We'll put these stars. I was thinking about possibly, um, yeah, we'll probably just put the stars on there. But what I'm going to stain my broom with is my Minwax water-based stain, okay? I love this stain. It is water-based. So therefore, you don't have to worry about... Um, your rags or disposing of the different things like that. Um, it is water-based. It's basically this as harmful as acrylic paint is. What's awesome about it also, you can get it tinted into over 200 different colors. Okay, it comes in certain colors they just have, like they just have the true black. Um, and then like here I had, this is a violet. This is a um, Fiesta Orange and this pink. I absolutely love this pink. It's called Perfectly Pink. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I kind of want to put all the colors on there. Um, so let's uh, just get started right here. I'm just going to pop the lids off and lay them right here because um, we can just use off the lids because I'm just not going to need a whole lot. And what's awesome about the stains too is you don't use a whole lot of it so um, it lasts for a long time and it's a good bang for your buck. Okay, I like to use the um, staining sponges. I get them at Arbor Freight and I use them till they're crunchy. This guy's getting a little crunchy, but for what we're gonna do, I think we'll be okay. All right, so I'm gonna start out with my orange here, okay? And I'm just gonna kind of get some orange in here in the center, just like that. Okay, because I want to kind of blend all of my colors together, going from light to dark. Okay, the next color I'm going to do is I'm going to do pink. Um, I just keep these little in these baggies, and then I toss them when I'm done. They're very inexpensive, so it's really not that deep to uh, keep them. Um, I just do because I'm a tightwad, right? Okay, so see how we're just kind of blending it like the paint is. You guys, I'm not even going to get another one out. I'm just going to use the other end of this. And let's get some purple on here. Okay, it'll take as much as you want or as little as you want. Um, also, what is awesome about the stain with it being water-based like this, you get too much on, you can just wet this down and it will... Um, uh, you know, lighten up a little bit. Okay, see how that looks? It almost looks kind of fiery in the middle. I like that. I like this look right here, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my black over here. Now I could, actually I'm looking at this. Let's get a little bit of the orange again. Let's get the center a little more orangey right there, but then I want some more pink too. Because I, I could go around all day with color. I love playing with colors. I love doing backgrounds and stuff like that. So sometimes I get a little carried away. But, uh, you know, a lot of times it's worth it in the end. Okay, so I wanted it to be a little bit darker out here on the edges. I was going to do the rest of my broom with the black. But I'm kind of looking at this and I'm kind of liking this purple look. 
okay, as the background there. I don't know, just something different. But I think these are really cool colors for your um, projects for the uh, Halloween time these pinks and these purples. Okay, we're gonna stop there, and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go over here, and I'm gonna grab this black, and we're gonna do the edges with black. Now, when I go around the edges here, what's gonna happen is I'm probably gonna get some over the edge there, so it's gonna actually really frame in our, um, you know, oops, I just went into the purple. Silly me, let's wipe that off. Let's go to the black again. Um, it'll frame in our project, and you'll be able to see that black along the edges, too. Okay? So, you see how you can see the black right there along the edges? Oops. Got a little too much there. It's okay. We can just wipe it off. No biggie. No biggie. All right? So, what I'm going to do here is we're going to pause for a second, and I'm going to get that done all the way around with the black. Alrighty, as you can see, we got this all stained and it's solid black on the back. Absolutely love using the Minwax stain. The Minwax stain is nice, especially if you do large projects like porch boards and things like that because you can, um, sorry, I had to get my stencil brush. Because you can, um, a, lo a little bit goes a long way when you do that. Okay, so we're going to start off. Okay, so I want coffee to kind of run across there, so I think I'm gonna put my hat here. Now, if you notice, my hat is gonna come, kinda come off the board, off the broom, I guess you would say, and that doesn't bother me at all, um, because you'll still know what it is. Now, I'm gonna tape over this, because sometimes I get a little excited when I'm stenciling, and I go places that I shouldn't actually go. Now, the secret to stenciling is to make sure that your project is flat, your stencil is flat on your project. Also, less is best when it comes to the um, paint on your stencil brush. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna use the um, Rich Black. Absolutely love this paint for stenciling because look how thick it is, okay? The thicker, the better when you're stenciling, all right? Um, if you are using a thinner paint, just make sure you really offload your brush a lot. We have a ton of paint on there. All I'm doing here is I'm working that paint up into my bristles, okay? See that? All right, I'm also, see how dry my brush is? That's what I want, okay? If you're not positive you've got your brush completely dry, kind of touch your project. If it leaves a blob of paint, it's not dry enough, okay? So here we go. I like to use a circular motion. Some people like to do um, stippling like that. Some people will use a roller, a foam roller, or makeup wedges or stuff. Um, you know, you do you. You do it how you enjoy to stenciling. Okay, so we're just going to get a little bit more paint on here on our brush. And I'm always offloading. See, I'm always offloading. You can offload on a paper plate or whatever you um, have around to offload on. I like to use the paper towels because it really does get most of it off. Now, do I need to get every single little spot? Absolutely not, all right? Now, we wanna make sure that we got everything that we wanted to get, okay? You could put your hand on your stencil and hold it down, lift it up and look. And I like how that looks. So I'm gonna lift it off there. Now, if I didn't like how that looked and I needed to put it back on, I can just line it right back up and I'm good, okay? So now I'm gonna pull this tape off. I'm gonna set it over here because we're gonna probably use it and we need to get Wicked on here. Okay, again, I'm not gonna try my very best to make sure every single letter's on here and the whole letter's on. We're just gonna go for it like this because when you read it, you'll know what it says. Now I do wanna get more of the D on. So let me slide this over here. All right. Oh, look, I got paint on my finger. Okay, so I think that will work right there because you're going to get, you're going to know that that says wicked. Okay, so again, I'm going to put a little bit of tape. I'm just going to recycle the tape I just used. I'm going to put a little bit of tape right here at the top of the hat. 
just so I don't get, I don't stencil that. All right, again, let's get a little more paint. Let's go over here to our rag and work that off. And I'm gonna hold my stencil down because I'm going off of the um, broom. So I kind of want to hold it to make sure that I'm, I'm uh, getting the parts that I want to get and it's not going to, you know, bend over and then I don't have it painted the colors that I wanted it painted. Okay, even the W is on top of the hat. Now we're going to pull this off and look at it and make sure it's something that we like. Okay, again, I can put my hand right here and lift it up. And see, you know that that says Wicked, even though it is halfway off the board. I like that look. That's just me. You do you on things that you like to, to do when it comes to stuff like this. All right, now I got paint all over my finger. Now we're going to do the coffee part down here. Okay. And we're going to do coffee kind of... I'm gonna go across the, the bottom part of this right here. We could come, no, I think I'll go right here. Now I could, I could have, would have been very easy to have done this in a different color so that it stood out a little bit more. Um, but to me, I like this look. And you can change your mind, you know, like I've gone along here and done this all black. I can come back in and re-stencil over the top of that a different color if I want to, okay? So again, we're gonna get a little paint. I'm gonna work it off my stencil brush here. And here we go with the word coffee. Again, I'm just kinda making sure everything stays down. A light touch, don't push real hard. If you're gritting your teeth, you're pushing too hard, let the bristles do the work. You don't have to do the work. Let that do the work. Okay, so now let's see what that looks like. Okay, I know that that says Wicked Coffee. It's kind of off there. It's kind of funky, but I kind of like how that looks. Now, if you don't like that and you wanted to come in with another color, like let's say we wanted to maybe do that hot pink color on top, I can grab some hot pink paint okay just so the pink will stand out a little bit and look what we can do i can take my pink right here i can grab me another stencil brush real quick okay now i can come back in like down here with the word coffee okay even though i did it in the black you know if it really doesn't stand out a whole lot so i'm thinking that i kind of want to make it stand out a little bit. Now I'm going over some kind of wet paint, all right? So it's probably going to um, darken up because I'm going over the black, all right? But I'm okay with that. I'm just gonna very lightly go over it. I'm not gonna try to get every single spot. I'm just gonna kinda look. I'm just barely going over it. Just to add maybe a little bit of transition of a different color on top, right like that. Okay, now let's see what that looks like and see if that's the look that we're kind of looking for. Really can't see it yet. Let's get some more paint on our brush. Okay. There we go. Let's try that. Okay. So... See how that kind of, um, whoops, lightened that up a little bit. I'm not sure I really like that. I think I kind of liked it the black color. So we're going to let that sit for a minute and let that dry and leave that alone. Okay, so one of the other things I want to put on here is I want to put these little stars right here. Okay, see the stars right up in through here? All right, we're just going to grab some um, white paint is what we're going to use for them and um, put those on there. So I need another brush right here and here is some. The white paint I have in this FIFO bottle is um, Rust-Oleum chalked paint. I buy it in the quart and then I put it in these bottles so that I have it. I like doing it that way. It makes it a little bit easier for me. 
Okay, so now let's go over here and we're just gonna start putting some of these on here, okay? Let's, and we'll see what they look like. We'll see if we like the white or not, okay? Not sure I'm digging the white, but we're going to continue on because we can come back in with another color if necessary. Okay, so it's just adding just a little bit of an accent on there. Kind of want to put a few more right here. Like this guy and this guy here. Now where I put it and it got on the, the hat, I'm going to end up fixing that so that it's not permanently on there, okay? So see how I'm just kind of moving my stencil around and filling the space right there. I think that looks kind of cool, just like that. So I like how that looks. We're gonna come back in with the black on the coffee um, because I don't like the different color there. So let's go ahead and do that real quick right here. Again, I'm just gonna lay this right back down on top. Line that right back up. Whoops. Get it on there correctly. Just like that. And we're gonna grab our black brush And I'm going to go back over it with the black. I didn't like how, I thought the pink might stand out a little bit more and it doesn't and it just kind of fades into the background. So I kind of like it like this. So this, that's, that's my decision. You know, like I've said but a couple times here, you do you. I kind of like how that looks. I think that looks fun and exciting and something different. Now see that spot there where I got a dot right there? I don't like that. So I'm going to lay the hat back on here like this. I'm not gonna go over my whole hat, so just so that I have it here and get that white paint off of there. Maybe I'll line it up a little bit better. Things are hard today. That happens sometimes when you're doing things. They don't always work out the way you want them to. There we go. I kinda like that better. Okay, so now that's not on there. So. This is my um, broomstick. I like how it looks. I hope that you like it too, right there. And what I will probably do is poke a hole and hang this like on a doorknob or on my door. It could be put into a wreath or something like that. It's whatever you think is cool right there. So thanks for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share.